fuck? As I don't know if Hamlet's gonna see this. Hopefully he doesn't. But I don't care. I'm gonna put my message out there. What I wanted to say is, you know, Hamza said that he's getting a lot of people look at him as if he's some sort of father figure. And I can completely relate because I am fatherless myself. And I've been a lot of I've been a victim of ridicule because of it. It hasn't been happy fun. But then he talks about it, he's like, I'm not worthy of being your father figure. And I'm like, I'm not like I'm not good enough. This isn't that. And maybe maybe it's my positive syndrome shit. And I, and I get that. But for the most part, people don't need like a perfect human being who's completely benevolent, who's completely perfect, like Andrew Tate or something. I think it's mostly persona. I've seen I've seen hints on Andrew Tate's real personality. Obviously I cannot tell because I do not know him personally, but I'd love to talk to him sometime. But I do look up to him a lot. But you know, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to have good intentions. I think that's enough. And you need to spread the right positive message. I think that's enough. Hamza, he, spe he speaks very calmly, very soothing. Sometimes aggressively, but aggressively in a good sense. Like aggressively as in frustration towards people that don't understand, and people that are still complacent, people that are still stuck in their ways. He understands, but get aggressively, like, you know, he's like, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stupid to say that. He's almost like me. Maybe I'm almost like him. Maybe he's imprinted off me. I like to think of myself as a bit of more of a calculative person. Calculative person. A bit cold sometimes. A bit outwardly aggressive. That's my anger. I try to look at things like as if they're not real, but you know, I'm still human at the end of the day. When I go viral on um, my channel, I completely fall under pressure. I was completely nervous. I was angry, I was sad, I was weighted out. Full of regret, contempt. I think Hams is the best. Andrew Tate is sick. He has sick financial advice. But I think Andrew. I think Andrew Tate is lacking something. I think he's lacking that. There's a familiarity, right? But showboating is, as even Sneeko said it, it's hard to hear him. I think showboating a bit. But I don't think it's him. I don't think it's the person he is. I could just be me being naive in my own little world. That's fine. I think I'm failing to realize that people have, you know, up and downs and emotions. You know, Andrew Tate. If you're watching this, oh I love you, man. David Hams, I love you, man. Two people I look up to. Pretty much it. I don't look up to the first man or anything. That's it. <sighs> you don't need to be perfect. You just need to care. That's good enough. You know, with the introduction of social media, it's, it's very easy to feel ostracized by the community that you're even in. If you're left unread and left unseen, sometimes it hits you. It hits me. Sometimes you need a motherfucker who cares, man. Sometimes mother need a hug, man. I'll probably um, go see now. I was doing some work. I was in deep work earlier. I was like working for an hour. But I'm done. I'm tired. Good night, guys. Man. Last topic I want to talk about. Oh, more talking, more talking. Is Asians. Asian racism. I think Asian racism is not put in a way in which it makes a sink sense. In the sense that, you know, an old Asian lady would get beaten up and I want to give a fuck. Or even Asians don't give a fuck about other Asians. It's all selfish, it's all greed, 
I don't understand that's part of my culture, whether I like to admit it or not, but it's still very ruthless in my mind. It's complete, it's complete ruthless ideology, which I cannot accept. And that's the same that I'm like, I, I, I'm an empath, so this is that. I'm an empath, so, like, you know. I can't, I'm gonna reject my own culture. But I still like my own culture, I think it's cool, but. It's part of me that it was wrong a bit. Like, I told my mom about it, and she's like, oh, that's the way it is. Why are black people hate us? And why? That's how it is. Adapt. That's why Asians are so versatile. That's <laughs> why so they earn the most. They just adapt, overcome. Improvise, adapt, overcome. I don't even get along with other Asians, for the most part. I remember, um, I was at a, my college and I was trying to focus on the Asian kids. And I believe I've talked about the story before, but I haven't. Maybe not talking about. I've talked about it once before. And I don't know if I'll upload that video or not. This is and that because of like you know upload fear. This is and that. But I don't. Like these kids were so rude. I was like, Yo, what's up? What, what are you guys doing? I was being super friendly. I was being super coming. <coughs> I was looking at them. And I was like, Generally, I genuinely wanted to make friends in college. And they're like, You know, you know who's guy? Who's guy? Who's guy? It's like three people. They look within their little group of faggots, pardon me. They look within a little group of losers. And they rejected me. One of them stood up, pushed me back, like, who are you? So I'm laying in a ping pong club and I've been hearing like nothing happened, but I knew like you know, yeah, I can't I don't forget that shit. And only the best revenge really, like there is no revenge for that. You you just got you just took it out. I took it out. I took a major L. I rejected, I was humiliated from the group. But the girl that was trying to introduce me to them, I like I sat down, I was trying to talk to them, and it's like, why do you sit down? In this stupid bimbo. I don't give a fuck. I'm glad I left that school. Oh so fucked. I hate stressing over the stupid shit I like the past. Regret is such a what a horrible thing to have. Regret that just holds you back it's like a, a mental iron chain on your soul and your brain just holding you back from your full potential if you're just full of regret. It's a double edged sword. On one hand, you could use that regret to fuel you and serve as infinite motivation and discipline towards creating your goals and creating your future, but that's very rare. For the most part, people like me, the majority of people, cannot use regret in that sense. And just contemplate, 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 and waste their lives. You know, it's, it's a very tough thing to stomach. Age of racism, it's not done enough. You know, I myself am not beginning to care. Focus on the bag, focus on the bread. What I am focused on is really financial independence. You know, um, I'm bring a video up. Have it on my thing here. Family group chat. Chinese people fucking love money. It doesn't apply to just Chinese people, it applies to East Asians in general. Back in the day, when China used to own all of East Asian countries that you see today, you know, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, it used to be called an Indo China colony. A French Indo China colony, because the French, like, you know, pillaged us. Thank you, France. I don't like French language people that much. It's very obviously that's a very vast overgeneralization. Uh, French people I've seen before are very that's culminating, but for the most part they are very pompous and look down on people. I don't understand why. Well, because I think they're bad and everyone they probably pillaged a bunch of people back in the day. You think rappers love money? Yo, we love money. This guy was in fucking Shang Chi. He was like the. He was he was the guy who was a ringleader for all the fucking fighting scene, underground fighting scene with Asians. Yes, we say, Gong Xi Fa Zai. I don't speak Chinese. 
I'm actually half Vietnamese, half something. I don't know. I was told that I was half Korean from some family members, half Chinese. I, I went through an immense like identity crisis or so. I was like, what the fuck am I? So then at some point I was like, you know what, I'm just Vietnamese. I don't give a fuck. Like, all these other cultures won't embrace me anyway. I don't have family in the other cultures. And they're very, like, you know, obviously this is kind of racist. The cultures are like, slightly different. Like food, maybe. But for the most part, maybe some hand gestures and shit like that. <coughs> for the most part, Vietnam has lost a lot of hand gestures. I do it because I was taught it from my mom. And I just learned about myself. And people find it weird. I'm like, I always thank you for the food. This is not super respectful. I'm like, why are you so respectful? Why not? Go see far side. Hope you get rich. We'll continue video. When we greet each other, yes. we say Go see Fa Tai. Go see Fa Tai means hope you get rich. The go to phrase during Chinese New Year is an hey, happy new year. It's yo, hope you get rich. Chinese people fuck. I mean in a sense it's positive because money solves a lot of issues like money can't buy love, but money can buy hookers. <laughs> and money <laughs> Can buy cocaine so you can just forget all that Conor McGregor. But like money buys you freedom, which means that like, you don't have to work, you can laze around. And money buys a lot of things. Money has a lot of negatives as well. Girls will only see as wallets. Girls already see guys as wallet in the West. Now girls <coughs> just <coughs> further extenuated. Pain in the ass. It is a pain in the ass. I go from Asian problem to woman. Over money. Money opens a lot of avenues. Money closes a lot of avenues too. Money can corrupt. Show people's true nature. It is true nature. Like um, Skylar and Walt, Walter White, for example. As soon as one of my got over money, his career should crumble. Obviously, it would be better if he invested in legal business, if he turned off a green leaf, but and obviously Skyler was cheating on him. It was horrible. It was a very good situation. That's why you never settle. <laughs> I'm joking. I think if you do settle, I think it's the best to choose the right one. Choose a good girl. It's very difficult to find a good girl in the West. It's just not impossible. We'll go into detail about my love life, but I rather not. Bit of a bit of a greener one when it comes to that stuff. I don't get turned off. It's all turned off. Look. Obviously, the last one was one thing. The last one getting you somewhere. But. What love, man. Like, the idea of love is so abstract to me. Because I've never felt it before. It's not like familiar love, but I genuinely appreciate that person. I think love is that. Like, when I genuinely appreciate that person, if you introduce them or. Introduce them. Or I'm going to have a person to catch up. I can produce her to my family. I can, I can, you know, live a happy life. I have a bunch of kids. That person, that's love, right? In my eyes, I mean, it's just a pleasant, or, or overall pleasant experience being with them. But I feel like it's always lacking. Perhaps because I'm young, I don't know. Still green horn. But um, It's 1am, exactly on the dot. I just I don't know, I just clocked it in my head, I don't know why, I just knew it was 1am. I wanna go to sleep. What do you say? If you're hard working, you don't feel like it. Wait a minute, this. I'll probably edit this and put it on YouTube and forget about it. Forget about it. I'm sorry if I didn't read your comment. I'm just definitely afraid of hate comments. Goodbye, have a nice day. Hope you don't. You know, yeah, I don't know this.
so it's going to be horrible. Or I have low energy, I'm so tired. Don't you see, love you, bye. Do the homework, so you don't forget.